I love the color of the hair. I love how it complements my skin tone. <gasps> it's beautiful. I am just gonna quickly install this hair. So I'm gonna be using a latch hook. So you wanna start off by opening the hook and you're gonna push the hook under your braid. So you wanna go ahead and find the middle of your crochet braid and then you're gonna attach the braid onto the hook. So after you attach the braid to the hook, you're gonna close the hook and pull the hook through the braid then you want to push your finger back through the loop take the needle out and you want to pull the end of the braid through the, the loop or through the hole and that's how it's done that's how you do it if you were using loose hair then that would be another thing but for twists, it's super easy. Okay, so I'm gonna show you another way of installing the hair. So you push the hook through the cornrow, ensuring that you open the hook first. Attach the braid to the hook. Close the hook. Pull the hook through the cornrow. Slide the braid down onto the hook. Open back the hook. Then put a section of the braid onto the hook. Close the hook and pull also you do have the option of making two loops with this hair you know because sometimes the twist might become loose like this one as you can see it's very loose right here so I'm gonna do another one where I loop it twice Okay, so you want to open the hole on the braid, push the hair through the hole or the loop, and you want to twist it, and then you want to push the braid through it once more. And that's how you get a double knot. This will ensure that the crochet braid is very secure. So you can see the difference between both of these twists. The first one is slack and the second one is tight because they're two loops. And as you can see, I am not like putting the braids exactly beside each other. If it is that I plan to make a side part at a particular place, then I will I will put them close to each other, but otherwise about a finger width apart. Okay, so this is the next day. I fell asleep last night, but <laughs> I have these two corners at the front left. And this is the amount of twists that are left. Like, it's a lot. <laughs> so if you're actually the person who gets selected to win this hair, then you won't have to worry about it not being able to cover your entire head. Because, hey, my head is super big, so if your head is smaller than mine, then... You're good. So I'm just finishing up the two cornrows that I have left at the front. I'll also be adding some more of the twists to those middle sections at the top that you can see. Um, for the cornrows in the front, I place the twists really close to each other so that my cornrow doesn't show. But other than that, this is a really simple style. Okay guys, so I am finished. I have a lot of twists left here, so if I feel like adding more twists like at the back of my hair or in the middle or whatever, then I can do so. Let me show you the side and I'm going to show you the back. Do you like it? Do you like it? <laughs> Okay, I really love how it turned out. I love the color of the hair. I love how it complements my skin tone. <gasps> it's beautiful. So I decided to go with, you know, some short twists because it's approaching summertime and you know it's gonna get super hot. So I didn't want anything too long. I wanted something that would be easy to catch up 
you know something that's right on my shoulders so it wouldn't be a hassle or anything anyways guys thank you so much for watching my video bye